aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have a video that many of you guys requested me to do. It is my ColourPop Summer 2015 haul slash review. Today I have all of the new goodies that ColourPop released for their summer collection. So I'm just going to be doing an individual description on all of the colors, swatches for you guys, let you know what I think, let you know which colors I think you guys need in your life. And I'll be perfectly honest, this was one of the collections I was the most excited about. And when I got it in the mail, normally I like to wait to do close-ups of the products before I use them so you guys can see how they look all new and fancy but I honestly couldn't wait for this collection. I had to jump into some of these colors the second I got them in the mail. There were some colors in this collection that I am dying over that you guys definitely need in your life. If you are a makeup lover, there are some really, really unique color options in this collection. And ColourPop also released some shades of bronzers, which is a brand new item to ColourPop. They didn't have any official bronzers in their line, so they released six in the summer collection, and I will be swatching and reviewing those for you as well. But let's go ahead and jump into all of the fun stuff. I'm not gonna be talking very much about the packaging, or the formulations of the different products and stuff like that. If you guys have seen any of my previous ColourPop reviews, I've done a full in-depth review on their blushes, on their eyeshadows, on their lippy sticks, and their lippy pencils, and on their highlighters. You guys will know basically what I think of all of the different products. And as I always say in every ColourPop review, if you are not familiar with the ColourPop brand or the types of products they offer, I would highly recommend checking out any of my actual reviews on the individual products because ColourPop products do have a very interesting and unique formula. So let's jump right into the goodies by reviewing the individual eyeshadows that ColourPop offers. They released six brand new shades that you can purchase individually for $5 a piece. So the first shadow is called High Tide and this is a very, very shimmery metallic white pearl color. The next shade is called Flipper, and this is a super sheer peach base with lots and lots of silver glitter chunks. The glitter really pops in this color. The next shade is called Shark Attack, and this is a mid-tone rose gold to peach duochrome with a metallic finish. This is one of my favorite shades. It's such a unique eyeshadow. Next up, we have Plunge, and this is a beautiful metallic champagne pink. You could absolutely use this as a favorite facial highlight. It really reminds me of the color of Becca Opal. The next shade we have is called Millionaire, and this is one of the shades I could not wait to jump into. This is a semi-sheer bronze base with lots of gold and pink glitter chunks. It's so beautiful. And the next shade we have is called Coconut, and this is a metallic navy blue, but do be warned, this shade does stain the skin. It is so, so pigmented and so blue. The eye look I have on right now actually consists of quite a few of the ColourPop products. I'm mainly using Coconut in the outer part of my lid and then Millionaire is the beautiful, beautiful glittery bronze on the inner portion. Now ColourPop also released one of their eyeshadow sets in the summer collection. This set is called Mondays in Malibu and it features six brand new limited edition shades that are individually packaged, but you have to purchase this in a set. So you don't get to purchase each of the individual shadows like you do with the last six. The first shade in the set is called Sand Swoon and this is a light dusty pink base with slight silver glitter specks. The next shade is called Gecko and this is a light silver with a slight pink shifty duochrome. This is such a unique eyeshadow color, one of my favorites. The next shade is called Snake Bite, and this is my favorite color in the entire eyeshadow portion of this collection. This is a super metallic, almost wet looking, light golden champagne, and it is such a beautiful highlight shade. The next shade we have is called Mirage, and this is a metallic, slightly silvered olive green. 
The next shade we have is Prickly Pear, and this is a slightly sheer plum base with lots of gold glitter chunks. This is another one of those beautiful metallic chunky glitters. And the last shade we have is called Hot Tamale, and this is a metallic dark warm brown. I'll be perfectly honest, this Mondays in Malibu set is one of the sets I could highly recommend because I love every single shade in this set. Snake Bite is my favorite color, maybe one of my favorite ColourPop eyeshadows of all time. It is so metallic, so wet looking, so mesmerizing to look at. It's gorgeous, but I could honestly recommend every single color in this set because they're all so wearable, yet still very unique colors. The other shadows I would highly, highly recommend are firstly Shark Attack, gorgeous gorgeous peachy rose gold duochrome i can highly recommend plunge it is one of those shades i will probably be using as a face highlight because it's so beautiful i love millionaire and coconut those are the two shadows i'm mainly wearing in my eye look today and these are two that are so unique so pigmented so gorgeous i think ColourPop hit the nail on the head with the shadows in this collection. I love practically every single one of them. Next up, let's go ahead and discuss the new or the sort of new item that ColourPop introduced to their line. These are the Super Shock Cheeks bronzers. ColourPop released six different shades of their bronzers in this collection, and a lot of you guys wanted me to review them and let you know if they were similar to the texture of the blushes or similar to the texture of the highlight. If you guys have seen my individual ColourPop reviews on those two different products, you will know they are very different in formula. The blushes are almost like a dense, creamy, moussey feel. They deliver a lot more color pigmentation up front and they set down to a powder finish. The highlights are much more lightweight. They feel more oily and more slick to the touch. Oftentimes they're not as pigmented and I feel like they don't blend as well on top of powders. I am happy to report that the ColourPop bronzers are the same exact formula as the Super Shock Cheeks blushes. The formula that we all know and love, the formula that works well under and over powder, that blends like a dream, that's densely pigmented, that delivers so much beautiness on the skin. I am very, very pleased with the bronzer formula. Now I will say I am not so much a bronzer gal. I don't generally use bronzer at all. The only time I reach for something darker than my skin tone is to contour. But do keep in mind that this formula is essentially the same formula as the eyeshadows. So you can use all of these shades as eyeshadows if you want. So the first bronzer shade we have is called Bon Voyage. And this is a matte finish, slightly pink toned, medium light brown. The next shade we have is Skinny Dip. And this is another matte finish, slightly pink toned, medium brown. This is basically just a few shades darker than the last shade, Bon Voyage. The next shade we have is Paradise Cove. And this is a satin finish, slightly pink toned, medium brown. This is basically just a satin version of the last shade I showed, which was Skinny Dip. Next up, we have Carry On, and this is a matte finish, warm toned, medium brown. The next shade we have is Poolside, which is a satin finish, warm toned, medium dark brown. This is just a couple shades darker than the last shade, which is Carry On. And the last bronzer we have is called Happy Hour, and this is a matte finish dark mocha chocolate brown. My overall thoughts on the bronzers is that I'm happy that ColourPop kept the same Super Shock Cheek blush formula and they didn't make it the pearlized formula, but I don't think they have a good enough color range for my skin tone. Definitely no colors for anybody darker than me. So I do hope ColourPop kind of expands their line of darker shades. ColourPop also released two new shades of their original Super Shock Cheeks blushes. The first shade is called Get Laid, which is a matte finish, really pretty, kind of mid-tone, corally pink. The next shade is called Jellyfish, and this is a pearlized 
oxidized finish. It is a super, super pigmented reddish coral color. Now, do remember that this pearlized finish is very reminiscent of the Super Shock Cheek Pearlized Highlighters they have. So this formula is a little bit more slippery, it feels a little bit more oily, and this one doesn't dry down as nicely. But I actually don't mind this color because it still delivers such a nice, opaque pop of pigmentation on the cheeks. This is actually the blush that I'm wearing on my cheeks right now and I think it just looks so beautiful. It gives you such a nice healthy flush. Okay and the last products that ColourPop released in their summer collection are new shades of their lippy sticks. Now ColourPop did not release any corresponding lippy pencils in any of the shades so they only release new shades of lippy sticks there are five different shades that you can purchase individually for five dollars a piece and then there is one six piece set of lippy sticks so as far as the shades that you can purchase individually the first shade is called polywog and this is a cream finish it is a light slightly pink toned nude color the next shade we have is fiesta and this is another cream finish this is a light to medium neutral toned pink next up we have topanga and this is a satin finish it is a medium bright reddish coral the next shade we have is toucan and this is a matte finish. This is a bright fuchsia hot pink. And the last shade is called Luau. And this is a hyper glossy finish. This is a super, super beautiful bright tangerine orange. And then as far as the Lippy Sticks set that ColourPop released, this set is called Sundays in Silver Lake. It features six new shades of their Lippy Sticks. But if you like any of these colors, you have to purchase it in the set. And this set retails for $30. The first shade in the set is called Ace and this is a cream finish it is a light pinky nude color next up we have Parker and this is a matte finish it is a medium nude brown this is the perfect my lips but better color for me the next shade is called Chella, and this is a cream finish it is a medium orangey coral next up we have thirsty and this is a satin finish it is a muted fuchsia pink next up we have pasties and this is a hyper glossy finish it is an all almost neon super super hot magenta pink and lastly we have cougar and this is a matte finish bright reddish hot pink I will say I'm wearing the shade Parker from this set on my lips right now it is the shade that I told you is basically my perfect my lips but better color this is the type of color I reach for in every single lipstick line no matter what it is I don't really feel like any of the lippy sticks are such unique or really really impressive in color they're all beautifully pigmented have the same beautiful texture that I would expect from a color pop lippy stick but as far as the color range I feel like a lot of the colors are reminiscent of colors they already have in their line or colors that you may already own in your collection in other companies. The only one I thought was relatively unique was Luau, which was that super, super glossy tangerine neon orange color. But other than that, I'm not sure if any of these are must-haves. My overall thoughts on the ColourPop Summer Collection this year is that I really, really love it. I think you guys must must check out the eyeshadows. I think even over the bronzers, which I know were really hyped up, people were really excited about the bronzers. I'm just not a bronzer gal, so that's probably why I am just so over the moon with the eyeshadows. I think a lot of the colors are unique to my collection. They are amazing in formula and texture and you guys could tell I just couldn't even wait to just slap them on my eyeballs. I am so excited about them. So that's all I have to say on the ColourPop Summer Collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you. Let me know what you guys picked up from this collection in the comments down below. If this video helped you guys out, please give me a thumbs up and I will catch you guys on my next video very, very soon. I'll see you then. Bye! Just jump into this palette without really having an idea of how it's gonna turn out. This is not a tutorial.